meet Leo. He is cute looking, but he is very naughty. First dining experience is gonna be at Toki in downtown Portland. It's a Korean restaurant that offers small plates and sharing style meal. Here is the cocktail list. We end up choosing the Jolly Jennifer's and the Toki Toki Artichoke. First dish that we're gonna be having is the Big Scallop Dynamite. <laughs> Here we have is the Banchan and the Cheeseburger Bobwin. The cheeseburger baban was definitely the best. <laughs> Here is the cocktails. I would say the Toki Roki Artichoki was better than the Jolly Jennifer's. Here is the Korean chicken sampler, and here's the list of the flavors. last dish we're having for the night is the pork chop. It was very tender, almost kind of like a duck texture, but it was very good. Don't you like duck though? Yeah. <laughs> to end the night, we had to get some ice cream at Cloud City. This is the ice creams we got. I thought it was all right. Next spot we're hitting up is Ken's Artisan Pizza. Look at them flip those dough. As you can see, this place is good because they got an award. Here is the menu. As you can see, the pricing is not that bad. Starting off is meatballs and a Caesar salad. I would say that meatballs were super duper good. First pizza we're starting off with is the New Yorker. Second pizza is the Brooklyn. I thought this was the best. It was a little bit spicy though. It's spicy due to the hot honey. Overall, it was a pleasant experience. Over here, they don't offer Parmesan or pe red peppers. They offer salt for your pizza. To end the night, we had to have panna cotta. On another night in Portland, we went to Basilica. Inside had a bar and other food places in there as well. Look at this cool vending machine with a bunch of random stuff. Here we have the fried chicken salad, the fried chicken sandwiches, and the dan dan fries. I thought the dan dan fries was really gross. Overall, I wouldn't come back, but I would come back to check out other vendors around the area. The Kool-Aid soft serve was the best part of the meal. We went to Ground Control. It was a $3 entrance fee, though we went another night when it was free, so I think it's after a certain time. Here's the cocktail list. I thought the bathroom here was cool because it was a Pac-Man theme. 
We came here for the four-way Pac-Man. It's something that we've been addicted to and it was very fun. One of my favorite spots in Portland has to be Tokyo Sando. I had a few Japanese sandwiches before, but nothing compares to this one. We have is the Miso Katsu Sando. This is the Naka Sando. Last is the Tokyo Curry Pan Zando. As simple as it looks, but it's made to perfection. We can't be eating all the time, so we have to walk it off at Wachala Falls, if I'm saying it correctly. This hike was fairly easy, but it was really cold. It's such a smooth pavement. A little part was hard towards the ending, but overall it was pretty easy. If Leo can do it, you can do it. To me, what makes this hike so beautiful is it's not just the view from the ending, but as you can see, there's so much water all over. We made it to the waterfall, and this is the immaculate view. For dinner, we went to PDX Sliders. They are the fifth best burger in the US, according to Yelp. Here we have is the loaded Burlington. It's a little bit too spicy for my likings. I prefer the Philly cheese fries. Every time when I'm in Portland, I tend to come here at least twice. At the end of the night, we needed dessert, so we went to Loretta Jeans. The customer service here was good, and the atmosphere was definitely a vibe. Here is the desserts that we got. The next morning, we decided to go to the airplane home in the middle of the woods. A guy named Bruce owns this place. Unfortunately, we never got to see him when we were there. Afterwards, we decided to go to Soro Soro Coffee and Dessert Shop. We end up getting the tiramisu and the cheesecake dessert. Look how cute it is. To mix it. It's too late already. I already mixed it. 
Both dessert was really good. I would definitely come back again. A few nights later, I went to Hey Love Bar with one of my old co-workers. To start off, they gave us free slush shots. Here's the drink that I got, but I don't remember what I got. <laughs> this was our Thanksgiving special, and it was really good. This pizza was good as well, but I do not remember the name. After Halo, we went to Soso. It was a really good bar as well. Here is their cocktail list. Here serves Caribbean food and drinks. The drinks we ended up getting was called Play for Keeps and Personality Test. It was super good. Play for Keep is more fruity, and then the personality test is more spirit for it. First dish we had was called Akra. I have no idea what it was, but it was good. This dish is called Doubles. It's with curry chickpeas in fly frat bread. It was my favorite dish. Last dish we're having is the Trini Chinese chicken wings. Overall, it was really good. I would definitely come back to this bar. It's one of my favorites now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy it, please subscribe. Until the next.